in the Bible, there is a scripture in Revelations 21, 6, that reads, I am, which those of you that are big on the I am, I love the I am, I am the alpha and the omega. And the rest of it says the beginning and the end, okay? So the reason I, I'm writing this is because I want you to focus on this as I show you this. So inside of Vortex Math, all right, we're going to write it one more time, is a hidden pattern, which ironic because Vortex Math is a hidden pattern, but <laughs> it's basically a rabbit hole that just keeps going, okay? Inside of Vortex Math is a hidden pattern, and I'm going to show you it here in a second. So the alpha is going to be the positive, okay? The omega is going to be the negative. Now, negative does not mean bad. It does not mean evil. It means it is the opposite of a positive charge, okay? So it, without these two together, you don't have the charge. So it's very important to understand that when you're doing uh, math in a world of dualistics, you have to have both together. It doesn't mean that one's worse than the other. Okay, so if you start with zero on the alpha, okay, and you add the next one, the next number in the vortex math, you end up with one, okay? So zero plus one is one. If you take that one and add it to the next number, two, that's going to give you three, okay? Do it again. Three plus four is seven. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there real quick and, and let you guys know 137 is something I talk about quite often. 137 is in, um, it's in photosynthesis, it's in your blood. It is supposed to be, according to, for a very long time, they believed that the earth was 13.7 billion years, or I'm sorry, the universe is 13.7 billion years. Um, when you get into, Physics, 137 is the number that haunts every single physicist because 137 is also called the fine structure constant. The fine structure constant, to put it simple, is the point that an atom decides what it wants to be, okay? And we have no idea why that is. According to, to physics, the charge of an electron sparks off and then an atom decides what it actually wants to be. And we know that that's the number which is this little, uh, sorry, which is this little shape right here, but we have no idea why it is. Um, and I can definitely do a video because I, I love talking about the charge of an electron, but that's a little bit more advanced on this. I just wanted to explain to you that 137 is a very powerful number. It is powerful in physics. It is powerful in quantum mechanics. It is powerful in this information, and it is also powerful in multiple areas in nature. It is a profound number that I love talking about, but we're gonna continue moving forward. So seven plus eight, it's gonna end up being six because it's 15. And six plus seven is gonna end up being uh, four, because it's 13. And five, I'm sorry, and four plus five, is going to be nine. Okay. So the alpha, I'm going to write it right here, is 137649. Can't see it? Oh. Oh. 137649. Okay. Now we're going to also find the omega. Okay, we're going to start with nine with the omega, and there's a reason for this. We're going to start with nine, and we're going to do the exact same thing, but we are going to subtract. Okay, so one was plus, one is negative. That's the reason. Nine minus one is eight. Eight minus two is six. Six minus four is two. All right, but two can't actually be taken away from eight. So what we're gonna do is we're going to reverse the two, 
Okay, we're going to turn it into 11. So that way we have a positive number. Okay, so before, if we were dealing with an 11, we'd reduce it down to a two using Pythagoras. We're going to do the opposite now. We're going to take two and we're going to turn it into 11. 11 minus eight is going to be three. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing with uh, three. We're going to turn it into 12 because again, we need to have a positive number. So 12 minus seven uh, is going to be five. And then five minus five is going to be zero, okay? And you're probably wondering why I'm showing you this and now I'm gonna show you. So our omega is gonna be 862350. And if you haven't seen it yet, you're about to. When you take the alpha and the omega, one, three, seven, six, four, nine, and eight, six, two, three, five, zero. And you add them up, you have nine, 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 and nine. Okay. When it says Revelations 21.6, which by the way is also a nine because two plus one is three and six is nine. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. It is talking about the number nine. It is showing you that with the alpha, which is a three, when you add it up, because one, three, seven, six, four, nine is 30, and eight, six, two, three, five, zero is 24. All right. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Nine is everything in the alpha, everything in the omega together, and it is the beginning and the end of all creation. All right. Now, on top of that, we're going to go just a little bit step further and add these two because these two numbers matter because we started with them. Nine times six, that's what we have right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to add the last one. So this is 54. Nine times six is 63. And anybody who has learned about the Eye of Horus or the Eye of Ra, the Eye of Horus is going to be 63 and the Eye of Ra is going to be 64. Okay. All of this goes together. All of it flows together. All of it works together.